Hello and welcome. I'm Johnny B. And I'm the Restless Kaiser. But together we are Modeling for Advantage. <laughs> Here we go then, Johnny B. Look at this beauty. <laughs> Team Yankee, World War Three starter set. Fact says it. <laughs> says it right there, mate. It says everything you need to know. Right. For so, those of you new here, we're still observing social distance. If we seem to be looking at odd angles, we're at opposite ends of a room. To, to be fair, even when this is all over, I think I'm still going to you, you observe don't. social distance. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be next to me. Right, we're going to get this, so we'll make a bit of a cut here, we'll get this open, start showing you what's inside. What's in the box then, Johnny B? Right, so this box contains, and it says this, two forces and everything you need to start playing World War Three. Team forces. Yankee. Boom, you get an American force, Soviet force. You get a rule book, quick start guide, eight unit cards, 20 dice. Boom. So the American force has got three Abrams overall, uh, which I think, are, are they current range? Yeah, yeah, Nothing they've been out about a bit that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, We've got two M60 patterns. Yep. And they're not new. Two M3 Bradleys. So they're, they're, they're new ish. They're the new world ones. They're we have seen yeah. those ones, haven't yeah. we? And then the Soviet force, you've got uh, four overall T80 tanks. They're brand new, sir. Brand spanking new. Brand new. Uh, three T64s. They're, they've been out for a bit. They're all right. And then you get two BMP3s. And they're brand new, too, sir. Really? Brand new, yeah. I'm open my box then. All right, then. What. So, shall I? We've got the window open as well because it's quite hot, so sorry about any noise. So, shall I have a look at the bits of paper? Yes, mate. And then you're going to show people the screws as they get come out, out, yeah? As All right. Go. First thing I noticed, did you might not notice yet, John, as you get through the box. I, I did notice that. The tokens. We had a little preview. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. That, do they do that normally? No. I mean, it, it's not it's not amazing. To be honest, hey, the, it gets you. It gets you on the it table. It gets you in right. the game. Rather than not giving it to you at all, that that's a good thing. They're the right size, the tokens, the pins, objective markers, and stuff. You know, and I think a lot of the the like heavy duty printed cardstock you got. A lot of people didn't use it anyway. All right. You know, if it keeps the cost of the box down and they've still provided it for rookies, I think that's all right. You get your twenty dice. What do you reckon, John? The red or the blue ones, which is best? Mate, they're all ba battlefield dice, or whatever they're called. Battlefront. Called? Battlefront dice They'll are... They seem a uh, bit shady. Uh, they're all a bit shady. You got red four, blue four, ten of each. It's a nice number. Of, uh, ten is plenty of dice. You get yourself two sets of these. You got it's, enough. The, it's the magic number, mate. Ten is the magic number. Is that what it is? Shiny. Same size, compatible. Same dice that we got in the... Um, oh, Tanks the Modern Age. It's the same set. So that's cool. Exactly and in the... the um, what was that Hammerfall star set? So this is like, so they, they, they've got different ranges of star sets now. They've got your sort of 25 quid, five tank, you know, like Fury and El Alamein yep. that we did, which is really just getting you through the door. They're not really all that playable as games. But still, gives but you a taste. Gives you a taste for it, yeah, absolutely, a place to start. Then this set, which is the Hit the Beach for the World War Two. So this is only 35 quid, this, mate. I mean, even that's a bonus. That That is. And you get two, all right, forces? You get two respectable forces with the unit cards, full rules, yeah. So you get dice, you get unit cards, you get the Team Yankee rule book, and it is the 2019 edition, so it's, it's fully current. Awesome. If I've come across a little bit of a problem more recently, sometimes with Battlefront, is they overstuff their boxes a bit. Which means... Which is great as from the plastic perspective, but a lot of the time you get a little bit of damage in some of the paperwork and so forth. I mean, my manual's okay, but it does have a little bit of a scuff mark on it. But just because the box is absolutely rammed, mate. <laughs> so yeah, if you've not seen one of That's these then... the detriment to it then. It's the full rolls, in full colour, just in a handy paperback format. You just give it to your mate, can't you? Cool. Get the start here. Just having a look at this. So these are just Tasty. exploded diagrams of the units. Okay. And then the model units construction. And yeah, and showing you how, you know, your first army, let's put this together as a 41 Whoa. point army. Combat team Zulu, mate. Assembly instructions. 
everything you'd do you expect. Do you think these are going to be the same? Because it seems a lot of the times you get extra components on the on the sprues for different. Oh, they're, different they're identical sprues to what you'll get elsewhere. Yeah. Yes, so that Abram sprue will make four different types of Abrams. A uh, three, there's an extra bit for one of them. Right, um, uh, so yeah, Johnny B, you want, want to show them the components, and I'll look at the unit cards as you show them the stats. Uh, let's e go even some of the older sprues. With the US Force, even some of the older sprues. We'll start off with the old Abrams. Start with the Abrams. So the M1 Abrams. This is a it's a big old tank, mate. It's huge, mate. It's huge. I've actually painted some up. You can oh, show yeah, them, can show them right some there. stills or something. So you've got two cards for the Abrams, because actually this is the formation for the US in here. It's calling it an armoured combat team, which is uh, HQ of one or two Abrams and a platoon of th two to four Abrams. Two to four. Yeah. Uh, nice. so I like the fact that in some of the star sets, they don't include the HQ cards. So you don't really know where to expand from there. Right. Whereas this is giving you options, not just what you've got, but where you could go next. Sweet. You know, how you build on what yeah, you've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some extra Abrams. Yeah. So looking, Boom. looking at this, to actually build a legit um, armoured combat team, you need an HQ and two platoons. So you need at least five Abrams. But mate, Abrams... The stat card here has got the M1, uh, so the and the IP M1 Abrams, and the IP is just an upgraded. So neither of these cards are the upgunned one. Okay. The the first one is all right. Then they up armor <laughs> it a bit, and then they give it a proper gun. Right, and that's when uh, it becomes. Uh, and that's when it's like, yeah, okay, this is a world decent, being tank now. Yeah, this is this is for real. Decent unit. Yeah, exactly. Nice cards there. All right. Cool. Uh, Abrams. Next up, we've we talked about Abrams before. You've seen it. It's not. Beasties. It's unremarkable. Um, we have the M sixties, right? So yeah, now, these M60s. are cool. Right. I know so, they. I know they're trash. Right. They're they're out of date. So this is some that sometimes Battlefront gets a bit stick for this. Why? Um, the, 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 they're just kind of padding out the box with the old stuff. The, there's no way a US tank formation with Abrams that's got Abrams has got M60s. Okay. This this is very much the previous tank, and some years back. But I think the US Marine Corps kept using M60s for quite a long time. And I know the, I think the Israelis were still using them in, really? the, in the noughties. Yeah, but like a, a massively upgraded version. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not your basic but, M60. But you're, in, you're, gonna, you're not going to find M60s in main combat units. They're going to be like National Guard, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. They're still yeah, out there. Got, here's, here's your armor, yeah, boys. Got, yeah. Mate, compared to just like driving a jeep with an AK on yeah, the back, yeah, I feel pretty it's safe. In it's, that, it's, yeah. still, it's still legit. It still looks um, chunky. Still looks like yeah. an effective-ish tank. And if you're fighting like the T-55 horde or something of Soviets, is that a good way to go then? M60s. Because well, you just need the number of shots, don't yeah. you? Yeah. You need Facts. the number of shots. So um, both of these. So to, for comparison purposes, the, the M60s got 15 front armor. The Abrams got 18 or 19. Um, but they've both got an anti-tank power of 20 because it's the same gun, I think. Until the Abrams yeah. gets upgunned. So if you're shooting gun. junk, yeah. this is a cheaper way of dealing with it. Do you know same what I mean? Same gun, yeah. cheaper. Um, but I'm not sure that it's necessarily the way to go. But the US Marines were definitely using M60s until quite late. And it, it's, a nice, it's a nice kit. It's a nice little kit. Like a lot of their stuff, the M60 is a little bit older. 2017, so I think I saw on there. The or 16. wheels and the running gear, Johnny B. You might want to show them some stills. Yeah, for sure. The, the wheels and the tracks are one piece, but it attaches to the hull oh, in a bit of a different way. With these little. Yeah. But if you see the clips. lower hull piece is keyed, yeah, you somehow. Three. I think you need to clip all of oh. these. What do you call them? The bit that the wheels sprung on. I don't know. Sprocket. Maybe. Spring. Um, we'll show Doofer. you one that's still up close. I mean, I think it'll just slot in because it's all keyed. Oh, but it, it looks all confused. Of those. Yes. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yes. I've got to attach to all of those. Bloop, 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 bloop. Whereas they tend to these days just cast the whole side in one piece 
and just slide it on. But you see how the lower is hole is. Better. You see how, yeah, but the, I think it's because the lower hole is kind of rounded. Yeah, this one and is. And tried to keep it authentic. But maybe for a wargaming piece. You just want it to be able to slap together, man. You, you want it You want it to go together easy and look mostly like the thing. I, okay. I don't know. I've not put one together, so I can't, can't say can't for sure. Can't comment for sure yet, but. And there's a lot of key points on there. It looks all right. And anticipating some anticipating troubles. be careful, yeah. And the last of the US units is the wonderful Bradley. 2020, it says on the old sprue yeah, there. We've so seen some is, of these. This is brand new. We looked at it in the American cavalry troop, wasn't it? The new army box. Yes. So the, the Bradley... The APC that is not... Yeah, so this is not the APC. This is not equipped as an APC. This is it equipped as a scout vehicle. Comes as a pair of them as a unit, so that's good. Get two of them in there. For five or six points, depending on whether you're going for the M3 or the M3A2. And the difference with the A2 is quite a bit more armour. But this thing has got this Bushmaster 25mm oh, wow. auto cannon, anti tank pop, 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 power pop, pop, 8, three shots halted, two moving, and a tow 2 missile with an armour piercing of 23. Ouch! Yeah. Guided and heat. I'm sure we'll learn about that once we've had a little Guided. babble. Well, it, it, heat just means I think it's affected by certain types of armour but doesn't have the long range penalty because mm. it's not kinetic energy that's penetrating. And guided, yeah, again, it's not affecting the hit penalties and stuff like that. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. But for six points, there's a lot of combat power in that little thing. Well, yeah. But for a scout vehicle, I mean, if you think about those Jeeps. That, you, that we had in the last Flames of War game. Yeah. That's... Same role. That's a scout vehicle. Same role. And then you stick that next to the Bradley, yeah. and you're like... Completely this, different. This is not so easy to hide, is it, This mate? is fun for picking up coffees from <laughs> home base. <laughs> yeah. And this one is for killing things. Yeah. That's a brutal but it's, but it's a nice, power. It's a nice kit, and you do have the... Um, the uh, up armoured skirts and so forth on the sprue. I watched Harry from Fog of War did a review of these quite recently. Yeah. And actually, there is a there is a slight problem with this kit. I'll put a link in the what's it so you can go and have a look. Is that when you put these skirts on, you actually cover up the driver's vision ports. They're supposed to be like in cut in right. on one of the panels. And on the model they show you. It is, but on this sprue, it clearly isn't. So maybe the mock-up was right, <laughs> and then when they made it... Who, now, needs, to, for me, who needs to see where you're going anyways? Well, the, that's the thing. It's a war gaming piece. I just don't care about those kind of things. Yeah, but yeah, I understand, yeah. you know, that you kind of rivet counters, and I'm not criticising anybody for that. But they well, if you up. know the driver's supposed to be able to see out of that, and there's an armour plate over it, it's going to bug you. It's where a little <laughs> bit of ignorance doesn't hurt. It is a nice-looking kit that goes together well, I think. All right then. Well, that's the that's the U.S. forces. The US Over to forces. the Sovietskis. Onto the Sovietskis. So uh, yeah, cool. Well, it's so it's a, the headquarters formation is a T eighty tank battalion, Boom. which is a brand new model, which consists of uh, one HQ and two to three tank companies, and then some optional extras. So, where do you want to start, Johnny B? Right, let's get the let's get the one we all know about, anyways, out the way. T sixty four, the humble T sixty four, humble T sixty four. I've learned something about this tank since we last looked at one, actually. Which was, uh, which is what this stuff is. This stuff across the top here. This gubbins, yeah. this sort of yeah, it's like, they're like mine clearing plows. Yeah, yeah. I've not seen those before though. I've not seen the sprue. I know yeah. I've seen the T sixty four, but I've yeah. not seen the sprues before. So I, now. I think that the reason, so it's an optional upgrade in the game, mm. but I think since they've added um, MLRS, you know, multiple launch rocket systems, you've got artillery delivered minefields. So minefields oh. are not just something that was here before, they're something that I you put can... on the table during the game. I think that that's, that's why. Cool. So mine clearing becomes quite an important, it's not just like a scenario driven thing. It's like, yeah, it's like in a pickup legit. game, your opponent can place a minefield during the game. That's different. <laughs> yeah, like so that. um, that's what that is. And it's a, it's, a, it's a squad upgrade. We've had the T-64 for a while. The, so the Soviets historically run two parallel development teams for their arm. Uh, um, and so although the T-72 I think is perhaps slightly more modern, it's the cheap version. The T-64 is actually the better quality of those two tanks. Wow. 
and both of them are later replaced by T80 in its many variants. The but yeah, boomstick. Built a lot of these. It was a nice kit. Went together well. At the time I didn't know what the heck these were. Like a lot of Battlefront kits, you get a spare machine gun on. But you don't get... Yeah. On some of their kits, you get more than one type. Because you might have like a Czech machine gun or an East German machine gun. So but T64... Well, no, I don't think this was exported. This was like the principal battle tank for like the guards tank formations. Right. It's the expensive but the good one. I love the Relative I love the speaking. 64s. But if you if you would see the T64 and it's got to fight an Abrams, the Abrams gun has got an anti-tank power of 20 and the T64's got 17 front armor. So you're 50 50. <laughs> Shooting back, the T64 does have a 125 mil gun, so it's 22 versus 18 on 19 on the M1. So it's slightly better. Slightly better. Brutal. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Laser rangefinder. Let's yeah. hit penalty for range. Yeah, there's loads, of, there's loads of bonus because modern Advanced tanks. Advanced stabilizers. Loads of stuff. I love them. But they're, they're, still they're, gonna a, be fairly, they're a fairly equal trade off. Yeah, they both they, have they the firepower. But, yeah, but they're designed up. to combat one another. It's like I need to be able to break the armor of that tank. Yeah. They don't need to be much better than that. Because that's that's what I'm gonna what have to I'm shoot. Facing at. At yeah. I'm gonna keep that Abrams out just in comparison for the T80. For the T80. Which is next. Right. Oosh. <laughs> Boosh. <laughs> Look at that Bruno, Johnny B. Weird it's man. Schmexy. Look at the shit it's a, it's a, yeah, that's an interesting I don't know why they've done that. No. It doesn't really matter. No. Why have they done that? But there you go. So T80, mate. T80 is 22 points for three. Similar boomstick. Compared to 24 points for the Abrams. I think it's still got the 125 mil gun. It looks to be the yeah, it's same the mount. same gun. Oh, no. That's the T80 tank battalion. Uh, yeah. Two A46. It's the same cannon. Apparently is the T64, so it's still got 22 front armor. You can fire uh, anti-tank missile through the barrel, of course. Optional. Soviets love a bit sniper of sniper missile. Sniper missile. Holy moly! Um, yeah, both only got a rate of fire of one though, compared to two on the Abrams. Interesting, but this has got 20 front armor, and that is going to be a problem for your Abrams because it's got anti-tank power of 20. Mm. So it doesn't go through. Hmm. Do you remember the system? If it's the I, same as flams. Yeah, but you get D6 plus your armor yeah, for you. So, so T80 in front, mate, you're not going through. Well, not with a cannon anyway. No. But that's when you get your, your, your little scout dudes with their Uber missiles, right? Yes. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to that see is how, interesting how that, this is going to match yeah, up. Yeah, the Abrams versus the T80 is going to be Because fun. I'm not sure what the Abrams is supposed to... I suppose it's in, this Abrams is not good at fighting this T80, but it is an expensive unit. Hmm. In this set, you're going to need to use the Bradleys to kill the T80s. That's crazy. Just because, I mean, they're still flat. I mean, it's only got 10 on the side, and it is hit on a three. But there's no that, there's no getting around the fact that that gun is not going to penetrate from the front. And that's why the M1A1 is upgunned. You can make M1A1s with this sprue, but it's not. Uh, we haven't got the stat card for it in here. Yeah. And again, the points start going up again. You know, expensive. The yeah. points there between the T8 and the Abrams, though, for three, just looking on the back there. Yeah. Well, did you just mention that? Yes. Yeah, so why, why is why is it three Abrams are twenty four points and three T eighties are twenty two points? That's crazy. Well, because the dude's inside. If you look at the skill ratings on this, look, M one Abrams is hit on four, T eighty is hit on three. That's quite a big difference. Um, and then if you look at skill for the Abrams, is four plus, whereas it's five plus on the T eighty. Yeah. And then under the Courage, the T80 has got Courage. They've both got Courage 4, but the Abrams remounts on a 2. So oh, wow. if you bail yeah, it, it's getting happy. back All in. Right, so Last stand, it's getting back That's in. That's why. This is, this is still 3. So, yeah, th I mean, so, I mean, this is set in the sort of 80s, assuming the Cold War continued and escalated to real war. So they're both conscripted forces, but I think it's degree of training. I think most, most Soviet conscription is two years. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. But and that's, I think, part of a philosophy of just having a massive manpower pool reserve. Just if it goes around. real, 
everybody as by the age of 20 is a two years military training so our oh. reserves are enormous yes you that's know, crazy it gets down to that so that's that's the t8 that, so that's a new kit which looks nice uh the yeah. other new kit is the bm3 scout the bmp3 so bmp3 again so this is new this is the late the later infantry fighting vehicle bmp3 the card we're getting is for the recon version mm. so it's an independent unit five points seven points and nine points for two three or four and she has got the at10 stabber oh, doing that Stab is it actually called a stabber? Yeah, yeah. The names, Mate. the naming convention for Soviet equipment. We gave them the names. Stabbies. The Soviets don't recognise these names. No, no. Okay. It's no. The stabber. It's the pokey. Um, uh, uh, and there's a um, there's a there's a principle for it. So uh, the first letter, right, is for what type of piece of equipment it is. So you know, like the aircraft, you got like the fox shot and the. Fish ninja, fish, well, fish, fish finger, the, yeah. all the F's are fighters. Okay. So yeah. whoever identifies F, the first one it? gets to pick a stupid name, but it has to begin with F <laughs> or something like that. They're NATO designations for Soviet equipment. Um, so yeah, this this thing it's got uh, anti tank missile with only twenty one yeah, anti tank it's not power, the same as a which two. is which is going to be enough to combat the Abrams, but not nearly so good. Um, but it's 30 mil chain gun, mate. It's got an anti-tank power of 10, rate power, power 3. And it's got a 100 mil cannon for anti-infantry work, HE. If you think about what we were saying with, the, with World War II and so forth, and the escalation of cannon, a late war Panzer IV has got a 75 mil cannon on it. Yeah. This is an APC, and it's got a 100 mil cannon on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's about engineering and technology. It's a uh, big bang. This is for carrying dudes. For it's got a 100 buck. mil gun on it. Uh, comparable stats to the Bradley-ish? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think so the BMP was a really, when it came out, was a, was quite the shock, I think, to NATO. Just remember that we, we'd we moved from half tracks, like the M3 half yeah. track, to APCs like the M113, which is just an aluminium box with a machine gun on the roof. Because <laughs> it's just for carrying dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Primary focus. And then the Soviets turn up with the BMP. And this has got like an auto cannon. I think and it's maybe got a 75 mil gun, actually, the original one. Uh, and about a dozen guys in the back. And it's got road wheels. And it's just horrifically fast and they've built thousands of them and uh -oh. suddenly have this face in this prospect of this has got off-road performance they've got loads of them it can fight anything in the side yeah. and they're just going to swarm europe with this this red tide and we're not going to be able to stop it Boom. so suddenly a bit like battleships in earlier generations and aircraft carriers and various other arms races the the you introduction of the first bmp was like Oh. We don't want this vehicle, but we have to be able to combat them having it. Wow. But yeah, that turret and that gun is like a, it's like like a Sherman. A, yeah. Yep. And it's an infantry fighting vehicle. That's I mean, insane. and it's bigger than that, Sherman, because it's all the same scale stuff. Uh, yeah. That's it for the sprues. That's other than the sprue. There'll be the still some stuff at the there. end yeah. for those that want to look at it. It's Possibly nice in kits. between as well. Get some tank commanders. Yeah, unfortunately, well, no, I mean, the, you know, these are so the same Soviet tank commander you get for uh, World War Two Soviets. It's exactly the same one. These have got 2020 on them, these ones. These, Maybe. right. Yeah, so. What's this, this about? One. This is their thermo dofa plastic, is Yeah. It? Which is like a weird... So Resident it's got 2020 on it, mate, but, it, but BM107, I don't know what, exactly nationality these are necessarily supposed to be i think that they're, 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 these are supposed to be american tankers but i've seen this sprue in various kits um the, the 2020 bit is just that it's thermoplastic oh, okay I think. right we've had these sculpts before and i think they're issued with a lot of team yankee stuff i just think this is in the new material it feels so weird it does it does feel weird it's not like the problem with the soft plastics got you know just sort of running your finger on it you're going to be able to scrape at it yeah which I, is think the bit so. I, hate. But I feel like it might be powdery like when you scrape it like yeah. it might just turn to dust 
Yeah. This is weird. It's a bit resiny. Bit yeah. resiny. Yeah. Ooh. Those are the contents of the box, mate. Boom. Except for a little leaflet. But what's missing from this box then, Jay Bizzle? Uh, helicopters. There's helicopters are missing from there, yeah. Something uh, else quite major is missing from this box. Uh, aliens. Aliens <laughs> are missing, but <laughs> we got a leaflet in the box. John opened the other side. Whoa, aliens! Things. Yeah, mate, you, I'll buy it if you paint it, so yeah. we're not doing that. <laughs> There's no point getting that then. <laughs> Moving on. This is interesting. World of Tanks, more on that in the future. Yes. What are we missing then? Dudes, mate. Dudes, dudes. There's no dudes. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Because we've gone from, we need dudes, to yeah. then playing with dudes and going, yeah. we really need to get rid of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> because dudes suck. <clears throat> we are, uh, as a channel, we, we like our games. We like to show you our games in full. Yeah. And we like those games to not take two hours or yeah, more. Yeah, for and sure. And we discovered that playing Flames of War with lots of infantry was taking a very yeah. long time. Playing Flames of War, how you kind of need to play Flames of War when yeah. you've got... So we're still Objectives. working through like the sort of size of games that we need to play and the balance of forces. We're not competitive players and we just want to have a fun game. But we're thinking with the Team Yankee, we might not have, we might, we know that that's bad. But if neither of us have infantry. Yeah, then it's all, and all we standard, played some right? of those tester games that didn't have infantry and it took like 20 minutes. Just boom, the smoke yeah, everywhere. Yeah, 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 you get sure. a result. The, I'm not saying infantry isn't important in this game. I think it is oh, it very, is. it's very it is. important. We uh, just while we're learning, we might put infantry for Team Yankee on the back burner for now. Hopefully permanently. Because <laughs> <laughs> tanks are cool, right? Tank, tanks are cool. Blowing tanks up. Um, we might find the games only last 20 minutes though, John. We? We'll look into it. I'm down for that. But for a beginner set of Flames of War as a system, I think infantry is something you might want to do later. Yeah. While yeah, you pick up the rules. Down. What do you reckon then, John? We're going to give it a go? Mate, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's, that's good value, man. Not even I might even buy one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you can buy one from me. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we give this a go. We're going we're gonna to leave the infantry for the time being. Build up on these forces. It's Flames of War on steroids, right? It's Flames of War with bigger vehicles, mate. I'm down that's for what that. It is. I'm down that's for what that. It is. So what are we doing? So, well, there's the US. Can I? And there's Ruskies. Can I turn to the US, please? You want, you want the Americans? Well, I feel I'm already painting some I've Abrams, mate. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's Carry right. Carry really If you could finish them, because then it'll all be the same. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. You be. Hopefully, there's like a dozen vehicles in here. We're going to hopefully... You're going to crack them out. We're going to crack them out. They'll have, a, they'll have a Kaiser paint job, not a Johnny that's B That's all right by they me. They won't be beautiful, but it'll be ready. That's all right, guys. We're going to have a look at this. Thank you for watching. <laughs>